and I'm doing it for my daughter. Well, it's officer ranks right there on the right. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah. This is what they should give me. Major. Major general. Okay. Oh, general so of the general, army. General is above major general. A major no. general. No. No, general's, general's bigger. General. Major general's two stars. Yeah. And then the seven. general. The general is six stars. Do you know what the general? Where's G they spell it wrong? No, no. Oh. Uh, the general, you know, general car insurance? Yeah. Can you look up uh, the Great War general? Is it, it's not going to come up. Nobody fucking took the time to make a wiki. They should make a Great War. Why, why isn't there a Great War wiki? Because that has the most lore of any IP in existence. And the Australian general, John Marash. <laughs> I love Australians' fucking wars. Think maybe maybe just look up the Great War MDE. I don't think they're going to show the general in this. By they, I mean us. <laughs> Are they going to show the general in this? Did you ever see this? Oh, the general. The general insurance. No shit. <laughs> and we got the guy that did the general voiceover, and I think they fired him. No. I think, I think so, because they don't use him anymore. Save some time. Yeah. That guy? Yeah. Hey, Sam, you have IBS? Yeah. Save some time. You ever see this? My new wife, she's Spanish. There he is at the end. Well, here, look. She likes to play hide and seek with me. It's time for you to get the old squad back together again, Commander. <laughs> wow. Isn't that funny? Who did the general uh, animation? I think Kyle. Damn. Did. That's good. I think. Fucking got the general in there? They got rid of him, right? Now it's Shaq? Yeah, I think they got I think they got rid of him because because we they saw that. Yeah, they saw they're like, you're working with Sam Hyde? Fuck it, we'll get Shaq. Yeah. So, <laughs> the Shaq comes and fixes. Maybe that's his position in the Freemason, because Shaq is a Freemason. I do love Shaq. He is a Freemason, though, has me worried. Mm -hmm. um, you'll need to redeem yourself on that one, Shaq. There are pictures of you in a Freemason outfit. That does bother me. Mm -hmm. But I do love you. Mm -hmm. I think Shaq is great. But is Shaq's position in Freemasonry to come he's the cleanup man he's the cleanup man he's like we're gonna have some problems papa johnson can't have a net even though he said we can't say in here and then we fired him for it is that what happened to papa john papa john said we can't say in here. and that's what happened someone was like this john you don't have to say it and he was like this what and he's like you you lost you're out of your company damn and then <clears throat> uh the general was working with sam hyde mm -hmm. and they were they feel like gotta go that. and they were like this you Papa John and the Sam Hyde guys got to go. You gotta go. I wonder if is Papa John blacklisted? I don't know. Is he? I mean, would he, he can't get a show on Adult Swim. Is there anything that he would even want to do though? Damn it! <laughs> Fucking Papa John's. Oh, it's a fortune cookie. You say, uh, put down your calculator and try to enjoy life. <laughs> he's like, ang he's an angry. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, Walter. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he found his dad's Camaro, right? He did. I think he's Trans Am, though, isn't it? Oh, uh, Trans Am. Yeah, he's a Pontiac man. Is he a Pontiac man? I think it's the you it's like the Firebird. John? It's like the Firebird with the fucking full hood painted. Can we can we look at Papa John's car? Is, is he a Pontiac? I think he's a Chevy. I think he's a Camaro guy. Oh, he is a Camaro guy. So he's not in the he's not in the Pontiac. Camaro's Camaro an Italian word that means uh, low IQ wife. Does it really? Yeah. Camaro Dude. means small, pinheaded Italian woman that <laughs> decorates her house with too much Home Depot furniture. Mm -hmm. That's what it's... Look at that one. It's a fucking tubbed out rear end with Mickey Thompson's on. It's a beauty. It's a 73. Um, split, bump, split bumper. Can you look up Camaro etymology? The name Camaro was derived from Heath's Italian. French and an English dictionary is a term that translated to friend or comrade. GM, oh. GM product managers reported that the term meant a small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. <laughs> They're just making fucking definitions. <laughs> of, yeah, uh, it's an Italian word that means it, uh, it butt fucks Mustangs. <laughs> this is a 60s GM executive? Yeah. He's got a fucking bombed out fucking Range Rover, dude. <laughs> Season fucking tickets. Basically, his fucking name is with Joe Torrey. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Aaron Judge fucking literally was dating my fucking hairdresser, dude. <laughs> and Camaro means fucking literally finger fucking Mustang's girlfriends 
anywhere I want to, and then basically putting my fingers underneath the guy's nose and saying, take a whiff, you should, it should smell familiar. <laughs> That's what Camaro means. Oh my God. Oh yeah. That's what Camaro means. <laughs> Did you give me executives? Yeah. Oh God. Uh, c comrade, our friend. That's a weird name for a car. Calling the car a Chevy friend. It's my little friend. My little friend. Vroom, vroom. Wrap it around a telephone pole. <laughs> Look what my friend did to me. It's my friend. <laughs> my friend broke my neck. It's called a Nick Hogan. <laughs> How do you say it, Nick Hogan in Italian? But you want a Pontiac. Here's a Pontiac. Yeah, Trans Am, right? Yeah. Man, it's right there. It's you, the Rick Simpson. Isn't it like a tubbed out race car? My armpit smells so good. Uh, look up uh, Project Red Rum. That's what the guy who built my car called it. Is it Rick? <laughs> Rick, yeah. Uh, Rick. Uh, oh, wow. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a guy, I like Red Room Project. Don't look over here. Project Red Rum. I'm just taking a quick shower. Just, don't look at <laughs> Just washing, soaping off my car. Cunt. I'm not decent in here. <laughs> I'm soaping off my cunt. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. Can you met? Yeah, it's got like fifty thousand dollars worth of fucking. I need that total piece of fucking shit. That's why I love it. That's not the car. You you have the next body style. Yeah. This is my car. What? This is my actual car. Oh, I thought you bought the next body. I fucking <laughs> you really? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. This car. This is the car. No fucking. This one that yeah. I dubs drove in. Yeah. Well, that thing sounds fucking rip. It's got seven hundred horsepower. Where is it? It's in storage right now. Do you ever drive it? It needs um, needs little bits and pieces here and there. What the fuck is the motor from? Just stuff like a steering wheel spacer. I want I want different seats. Um, I just want little things changed. And I don't like when little things bother me. But it's fit. It's good to go. It's got the full like suspension, the Tremec, uh, Tremec Magnum uh, gearbox. Is it automatic? Magnuson supercharger. No, no, it's a six speed. But it's like the mega. Mega beefy, like the Dodge Viper derived, super built up uh, six speed. What's the by what, American powertrain? What generation LS1? It's got the strange axles and all that shit in there. Holy um, shit. It's a Dickey, a Scoggin Dickey 416, I think. I don't, I don't, I guess it's LS, LS architecture. I don't know anything about all that shit. <clears throat> What's it out of? It's like a race engine. No shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like a built to build. So this thing it. can handle on a track? Uh, no. Well, it has. I mean, it's pretty. What's it built to do? It's just a fast street car. I thought it was. I thought you bought the next gen. No, 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 no. no. Oh. No, no. That's the that's the car right there. How did you find that? Uh, it was on it was on eBay. Oh wow. And um, the guy had it up there for a while, and nobody nobody wanted it because the exterior is so beat. And he was like, "Do you want?" He was like, "Do you want me to?" fix the hood for it like i didn't i wanted that hood the sun damaged hood i wanted all shitty looking yeah that's cool yeah so that's that's the way she is right what's it now. run a quarter mile in i mean it's fast as fuck i don't know i've never uh is it is it like when you you've driven it obviously yeah it's the it's super super fast it's like hellcat fast no shit yeah not off not off the line i don't think it would i don't it obviously wouldn't be the hellcat in the quarter mile but it's on highway speed like 30 miles an hour 70 miles an hour to 120 it's like ultra fast Jesus like Christ! It just, it just flies like it's. What um, were you looking for? Like uh, guys that just spent like that blew their load on an engine? Yeah, that's the only. That's the only thing. Um, <clears throat> if you're buying cars, I told I someone asked me recently what they should do about cars, and I was I was thinking about it. If you're <clears throat> if you're day job guy, and you're and like your life comes down to like real specific like retirement account tax, like saving money here and there, then like yes, like the right year used. Acura MDX is the way to go. I feel like though, if you're, if you have, if you have a little bit more money, I think what to do, the way to do it is make sure you're not spending more than like ten percent of your net worth on a car, and just make sure it's something you love. Yeah. Like if you and I, and I honestly, I feel like if you get in, if you get into an, an Audi and like you love it, like you're like just, I think you should just do it. If you love the Audi. I think you need to learn what the fuck you're looking at if you get. I would. Audi. I would say so, but that means you haven't looked at enough cars. I would agree. I would never buy an Audi, but I think. I mean, look, for the average, like the the average guy, like you know, when guys tuck their ears into their hats. Yeah. Like if you're a guy that's tucking his ears into a fitted cap and like wearing DC shoes, mm -hmm. 
and like I don't know tight jeans or something, <clears throat> and a a Zoomies shirt. Sounds like Nick Swartzen. And even though yeah, I love Nick Swartzen. If, yeah, no, no, I love Nick Swartzen too. But if Nick Swart, if like you were giving car advice to a Nick Swartzen, he was like, Nick, I really just love this, um, the new Subaru STI. At some point, it's kind of just like, man, just buy this, just live your life, just get it, just get the fucking get the fucking Corolla GR. I do too, and I almost I would I looked I thought looked into thinking about buying one. I thought about it before I got the Porsche. I was thinking, man, maybe a Corolla GR would be kind of cool. Maybe you could rent one for two days and realize that it's not the shit. It's not nice, and it's like a fucking Camry. Yeah, after like two hours. I think that's that's definitely something that's worth that's worthwhile advice right there. Anyway, that go back to piece the of fucking shit Audis. Go back to the GM the Dyno video. Mercedes a fucking toilet too. Yeah, I want to see this. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, fuck shit. It's also the loudest car. <laughs> it's so fucking it's loud, so man. It's so scary dude, loud. Dude, that thing is so badass, dude. It's so fucking loud. That yeah, looks cool, too. You gotta look about it. But now it's so shitty. Yeah, the, I, the, the shittiness, if it, was, if it was in pristine condition, I'd be like, this is fucking gay. This is yeah. a fucking gay little car. But the, the, the fact that it's like beat to shit. Yeah, yeah I would like outside. to like drive the fucking snots off that yeah. thing. 